Well, Vicki, do we, we have another caller on the line? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, Jeff is on the line. He had a work injury due to a f to faulty equipment. All right. Thank you, Vicki. Let's talk to Jeff. Jeff, this is Roger Reed Miller, lawyer on the line. How can I help you? Uh, yes. I'm calling because I uh, I was in an accident here about two months ago, and I've, and I've been talking to a lawyer about it because I've been on a drone rig and a piece of the blocks. Uh, fell out of the air, came down, hit me in the head, hit my shoulder, landed on my leg, and busted my leg in three pieces. places. I've had two surgeries. I've actually got a lawyer with it right now looking at the case for me to see what he can do. But I've got some questions about it because I I don't I don't know what the, how to kind of go about it. Is the blocks, the piece that came off uh, weighs about four to five hundred pounds, and I don't know if they're I would say responsible for the equipment that came down and hit me or not, um, because I'm on work comp right now, and that's why I'm wondering: is a block? Are they related, responsible for the equipment that came down and hit me? Well, or, well, who caused the block to fall on you and cause you to suffer injury? Um, well, there's a. It's held in there by a pin that's never supposed to come out. It's a hinge. It's like a big old piece of big hook that comes open when you pull on a latch. It has a pin that lays in there that's held in there that's never supposed to come out. I've been old for, for 11 years and never seen one come off and talked to many people and never seen one come off. And this pin is very huge and it just fell out. And when it fell out, the hook came tumbling about 20 foot out of the air and landed on me. Well, okay. As you said, Jeff, you, you have a workers' compensation lawyer now. And, and I'm a little bit hesitant to talk with you on the air because of that. But I will say this, you, you really need to talk to your workers' compensation lawyer that you have currently employed about this. They need to be able to help you out in this. Otherwise, I think it might get a little bit complicated for you to have a second lawyer to explore the negligence claim against some other entity that was either negligent in maintaining or negligent in manufacturing uh, this device uh, that ultimately uh, failed and caused you to suffer injury. And so if you are going to pursue a third party, what we call a third party claim for someone else's negligence, when I mean somebody else's, it, if there is negligence or if the, if the entity or person that caused you to suffer uh, injury, uh, the person that was negligent is either a co-employee or the employer, then you're going to be limited to workers' compensation benefits. If, on the other hand, uh, there is some other entity out there that was negligent in causing this accident, they're ultimately going to be responsible to pay for all of the damages that you can prove that are related to this incident. So talk with your workers' compensation lawyer uh, right away. Okay, Jeff?